Julie McGuffey is here with Savars, and she's got some great wood projects. These are so much fun. You know, they really are fun because a lot of the work has already been done for us. If you notice on this wood piece right here, there's already a pattern on it. So when we want to paint, all we have to do is get a brush and get some paint, and then we're just going to go right in there. And as I'm doing this white, and you can see that if you do a thin layer of paint, those hearts actually show through. So if you still wanted to go ahead and paint, paint them red, your pattern's still exactly. there. Exactly. Now, the other thing that we can do to make this sparkly, because everybody loves some sparkle, we're going to use this uh, glitter glue. Now, when you're using the glitter glue, make sure you take the little cap off first, which is actually inside here, otherwise it won't come out. Now then, we'll just go ahead and I'm going to dip the paintbrush in it. Now these we'll are great projects for kids to do, and these are also great for adults to do, aren't they? You know, this is a, they, they are for, every, for all ages. But you know, you mentioned kids, and this is a great project for party time. And you know, this is a time of year the kids have been stuck inside because of the weather, mm -hmm. maybe, and they want to get out. And you know, this store is the perfect place to bring them. They find lots of neat things to do. I'm just going to show you quickly how to fill in the heart. Not using the brush end of a paintbrush, I'm going to use the wooden end and we'll just dot it in some red paint, make one dot here, pull it down, make another dot, oh, Julie, you're a pull magician. it down. That is so Isn't cute. that cool? And that is so easy. What a great way to do this. Now, these are very economical for if you wanted to do a party for kids, exactly. too. Exactly. Buy you one can, for everybody. You can also do them with paint markers or, mm -hmm. or with permanent markers. Let's take a look at some of the great projects that you brought, some oh. of the other ones. Okay. Now, they come uh, pre-assembled like this. Everything is part of it, even the ribbon and the spring. But what a perfect little project for, for springtime, mm -hmm. little birdhouses, flowers, butterfly. And that then would really I'll, look great on a wreath, too. You could hang that from would, a wreath or right, you could put it in a floral wreath. Right on the wreath. front door or even, the, or even mm -hmm. the mailbox. And then look at this old rabbit on the fence with all those spring flowers, just perfect for Easter or just general springtime. It's mm -hmm. just so cute. And the designs are cute, too. Very nice to work with. And then, of course, we have the Easter egg and the little chicken. And look at the beads on the bottom. That just adds so much to I it, know, doesn't it? I know, and the thing is, it is all done for us. But there are lots of different things that we can use to embellish these great wood pieces. And I love this one here, but this is just such a fun thing because it's like a notepad, but it's, it's, you can right. you also put a magnet on the back. And put too. it right on the refrigerator, and then you would just attach the little notes, the little notes to it. And then, of course, ready for St. Patrick's Day. We have a little uh, clipboard there you could put on a desk or on the kitchen counter or anywhere. And the shamrock there, that was wood, but it was actually decoupaged uh, using glue and a scrap of leftover printed paper that wow. you might have left scrapbooking or card making. Well, lots, lots of, of great ideas. Thanks so much, Julie. You can find all of these great wood projects from Savars in the wood department of this AC Moore store.